electrode placement, A2. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. Subject number 12, test 71B, electrode placement A2, stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation, the fear center of the brain. Slice clean, all the way. No cure for what I'm going to do to you. Peel pristine skin. Thoughts from the mind. Rovik? <laughs> This dude is so out of shape. I mean, he can't even run for 30 seconds.
is one of the reasons why originally I had this game had a solid eight. I didn't get higher. Yeah. I would say for like the general public I got it higher. For myself it was more like a solid. More like a solid eight. It's a very interesting art style. Another reason why the Evil Within is um, in my top 10. Not really this one, but um, the second one. Or it could be this one, I don't know. It's the art style is, is very good. For something way back then, the style, the horror style is, is pretty damn good. A lot of imagination that they came up with is pretty solid. The game is not really terrifying, but his style in horror is is very good. Like fear is one of the main things. Like if a game doesn't have like genuine fear, and if fear is not that good, then it's not that interesting. This game doesn't have good good fear, but it has decent amount. But the evil within was never about I think it was never about the fear it was always about the horror but if a horror game doesn't have a sense of fear in it then it's pointless so it I would say evil within when it comes to horror and the fear factor it was always a half and half and then you gave it more points for its style and horror rather more than for its terrors and horror it was always in the half and half in that territory. That's why it's in my top 10. It's art style. It's the part that's very good. And it's fair it's about half and half. So it's passable. A passable is not good enough in my book. So all the factors had to be played, played out within the realm of evil within to get it up to, to be in the top 10. And the stuff like this, stuff like this is, is what got into the top 10. It's style and now it's, it did its artwork. See, if this came out way before Resident Evil 7, so it influenced that game greatly as well as PT so they did a real good job in this like these tight shots these overhead shots we zoom in here it zooms in here but as you're going down the pathway it zooms out As you're getting closer, it zooms out. Sure.
lighting, lighting. Can see the light on the doors for where I'm supposed to shoot the locks. The lighting in that section didn't work. Yeah, that was dumb. I forgot I had the grenade in my hand. And here's another thing you could why I, I believe other than the fact that sound sound effects um, with regards to walking through hedges and stuff are so good. Um, but it wasn't just sound effects got it down to 7.9 but it wasn't just that um, to me it was why is this Jesus
these situations as well. Oh, so we get it down to a 7.8 now. So sometimes when a cutscene happens and all of a sudden it stops, you're supposed to be able to tell when to run and when not to run, but you can't can't tell because of the cutscene. The cutscene interrupts when you're supposed to do an action like almost instantaneously so you don't know exactly when you're supposed to start running versus when the cutscene stops and you're supposed to start running so it's you can't tell if you're still in cutscene or if the cutscene's over and then you suppose that's how I died here so that was something that I did in fact a long time ago so I would say the game has now gone down to about 7.8. Originally, I had this as a solid 8 back in the days. But now, when I think about it, it's down to like a 7.8. Simply because of those things that were never done good. Because you can't really tell. Unless you die. That's how you could tell. Because they never really did a good job about it. I led here. You know what, I think I'll put it um, back up to 7.9. Because you gotta really appreciate uh, creative thinking with regards to this horror game. This huge open field, a small college chair, and then giant sized head inside of a room mixed with a puzzle and something's chasing you. Brown sky, green flowers. The various different colors and the various different tones and themes and thematics and surrounding very, very good art style horror game. So I'll put it back up to 7.9. It's surprising to me how this guy, stamina is like, he's a police officer and he has one of the weakest stamina. I know heavy set police officers. Big boys, chunky boys, I have more stamina than this guy. He can't even run for like 30 seconds without blowing a gasket. Like, look at this. At top speed, at top speed, this guy's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I bet you I could get it to about, once I max him out, it's about 30 seconds. He can only run fast for about 30 seconds. That's how terrible he is at running. Like, you really know someone's out of shape if they can only run fast for about 10 seconds to about 15 seconds to about 30 seconds. If you can only run fast for about 10 seconds, then you're extremely out of shape. If you go on to run f fast for about 15 seconds, then 
you're mildly, mildly out of shape. If you can only run fast for about 30 seconds, you're somewhat out of shape. If you only run fast for about 45 seconds, you're just out of shape. And a good two minute running fast, that means you're in low level, sh you're in shape. If you can run fast for about a good minute at top speed for about a good minute, you're in shape. So one minute is how you could tell if you're in shape or not in shape. If you could run fast for about a full minute. Hey, I think there's kids in there. You don't need to have six pack abs and all that uh, crap and huge muscles. You just need to know if your cardio is great. If your cardio is great, then you're in shape. Cardio really defines how strong you are. Because your body mass is a genetic thing. It growth spurts based on adolescence to adulthood. And if you didn't, you don't have that bone anatomy or structure anatomy passed down from your parents, then all you could deal with is the structure of the body for which you're given. But the difference between those who have the benefit of having larger body and better muscle tone is their lungs and breath control. That thing stays the same for everyone. The amount of breaths you could take, the amount of how long you hold your breath on the water, how long you could go for runs. It's all, whether your lungs are larger, your arms are larger, or your muscles are larger, none of that stuff makes difference if you don't have good breath control. And that, that stuff happens with training and keeping a body in shape with regards to your endurance how much the body can endure before it gives away. It's less about body mass and body sh muscles and structure, more about um, lung capacity, resp respiratory strength, the type of food you're eating, so on and so forth. So I know this guy, Castellanos, is completely out of shape. Because he'd be eating nothing but cr crap food and drinking coffee all the time. Probably don't do any type of working out. The dude can't even get 15 seconds of run time before he's out of breath. Like, don't get me wrong, someone who runs for about 30 seconds, that's okay. For an average person that doesn't work out, that's, that's perfect. But for a person that's supposed to be in shape, if you can't get a minute in a running, then there's something wrong there at top speed. Best part, it doesn't really have to be at top speed. As long as you're running, not jogging. If you can run with a whether it's at top speed or just at running speed if you keep up it you're running for about a full minute then you should be fine I don't know how I started to talk about running all of a sudden 
It's just that this dude suck at his job. He's fighting monsters. I guess he, if you, you're dependent on the weapons you're carrying, you don't need to be in shape. The gun is doing most of the heavy lifting for this dude. eat. You've got to keep your strength up. My children. I want... Beatrice, we have been...
So I'll call it a day here. I'll do one more level up. These were those things from that creature in Evil Within 2. Had those chainsaws for hands, spinning chainsaws. Circular chainsaws. Yeah, but that's it for me. Mostly talk about running towards the end. It's just that uh, this guy's running is just so terrible. But I took points away from it when I first played it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm still at uh, 7.9. So that's it for this one.